In this video we're going to go through the process of installing Next PVR version 5 on a Windows machine. So we're going to create a directory for it to live in. I'm going to create a C program files in PVR directory, which is a fairly standard directory that most people end up using. Um, and so we want to go to the Next PVR website and we want to hit download. And in this case, we're after version 5. And so the page has information about downloading Next PVR for various platforms. In this case, we're after Windows. And we have the option of installing a 64 bit version or a 32 bit version. We'll go for a 64 bit version. Open the zip file. And we basically want to copy all of the files from that directory into our newly created directory. So this just takes a couple of minutes. Okay, now to get it running, um, for this first test we'll just run nextpvrserver.exe and that's it installed and running, so I'll let it access the network. Okay, so the default login is admin password. Save the password for next time. And we'll head over to the settings screen, to devices. Now, normally if you've got a TV tuner connected to your PC, so like a Hapag DVB tuner or an ATC tuner or something, you'd see those listed here. In this particular case, um, I'm just going to set up an IPTV service. So I click on the IPTV device and I say import channels. Uh, and for this test, I'm going to use the M3U8, uh, the M3U URL and XML TV URL for uh, free channels in New Zealand. If you are using an IPTV service from you know some provider somewhere, they'll they'll give you URLs for this. Import and there it's pulled in this list of channels. And we'll hit save. It's asking us would we like to update the EPG now? Yes, so update the EPG. Okay, so it's pulled in 4,000 listings. So if we look at the TV guide, yeah, we can see our channels and we can see listings for, you know, the main channels that are there. So I can click on a channel. I can click watch now. Um, another pick another channel. Okay, that's going pretty well. I can go and schedule recordings for future shows. I can cancel it. Now that's working pretty well, um, but it'd be great to not have to run this uh, next PVR server.exe. So let's just close that and we'll run a batch file here called install service so we want to right click and select run as administrator it just sets it up as a service that runs in the background always with windows so it's there and available for whenever it needs to record or to serve live tv and there we go it's restarted so let's log back in here we go 